How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you with another video on Roroni Kenshin. Now towards the ending of the previous episode, Korogasa had to ruin a special moment, a sweet special moment between Kenshin and Miss Caro, and did you guys see the death stare, the kind of stare Kenshin gave Korogasa? Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the seventh episode on Roroni Kenshin and see what took place. Miss Caro is trying to lock him down. He's trying to lock Kenshin down, lock the boy down, and I mean down, down, down. And in that moment, <laughs> Korogasa's laugh is just stupid, man. His, his laugh is stupidity into Kenshin, man. His laugh is just Oh, here come that dead stare again. He teared it up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking forward to see what will be the outcome of this squabble. Okay? I'm looking forward to see what will be the outcome because um, the stage has been set. Korogasa has done the unthinkable. He has done that which he shouldn't have done. Going to mess with a man's woman. Although, Miss Caro is not really Kenshin's woman, but we know where this is heading. You know what I mean? He cares about her. And Korogasa just had to go and kidnap her. Given of that stupid laugh, just laughing stupidity at Kenshin. I got you a woman now. If you want a life or whatever, come seek me out. Kenshin is not going to take this lightly. You rest assured know that. Koragasa will pay. But Kenshin better watch out because now Koragasa has what he loves. So, is he going to kill her just to, out of spite to get to Kenshin or is he going to keep her alive? At this point, anything can go. And it, this can go either way right now. Oh, she's still alive. And he's just sitting there smoking. And still laughing. <laughs> Don't glare so much. That laugh of his. Just because he wants to return Kenshin to the Bato side that he has known him to be. He wants to get Kenshin angry, angry enough to return to his original self that what he once was. But he doesn't understand that that's in the detriment of his own safety or his own life. So. Back during Batosai era. Oh, he has faced Kenshin in the past, actually. Is that what he's trying to say? Hmm. Sui.
Hmm, you will have to fight me. Look at that dead stare once again. So he's been this twisted from... Mm. I was able to become he took Kiri just like him. So he has trained and has been massacring people. So now he believes that he has summoned enough courage to take on Kenshin. That laugh of his, I can't get over it, man. That laugh gets me every time. Ooh, you guys look, look at that that's there. The stage has been set, ladies and gentlemen, and in that moment, Hajime! Sui! Hmm! Sui! Sui! He... Korogasa has his own death there, too. He has his own, he has this glare that makes people, like... Hmm! Hmm! <laughs> oh -hoo! Oh -yo! He got Kenshin. Hmm! This guy ain't playing, man. He got Kenshin. Clean hit. Mmm. He used his ability on Miss Caro. Suffocation is an ugly way. Oh, that's an ugly way to go, man. He is really, really trying to get the worst out of Kenshin. Damn! I actually thought Kenshin cut his head in, in two for some particular reason. I literally thought, but he used the side of his blade to just... Mm. She's fading. He actually broke his nose. He actually broke his nose just now. Okay. This is exactly what he wants. He looks like he has released... Nani? He has his own stare too. He has his own...
Oh, he haven't released it yet. Wow, he's actually putting his life on the line. Korogas is putting his life on the line. He must be killed for Miss Karu to be free. He's doing something else now. He put hypnosis on his own self? Psychoda. For the first time in 15 years, he haven't used it. Your debt is absolute. Hmm. It's now a standoff. It's now a standoff, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love it. He might be tricking you, Kurogasa. He might be a trick. Don't go for it. He's going for it. He might be tricking you. He might switch it back to how it was before. You better... <laughs> what happened? What happened? He used... He shattered his... Wow! He shattered his potential of ever holding his sword again. Damn, he's still not releasing it.
Oh, he's about to send Kurugasa to the afterlife. And Miss Kato can't even say what she wants to say because she's been paralyzed. Ooh. She broke free out of the hypnosis. Wow, the power of love, huh? He would have sent this guy to the afterlife. How did she break free? I guess the will, her will overcame it. He wants to die, huh? Sweet! He killed himself? There we He took it we are no longer needed in the Miniji era. Damn, he's saying. He is literally saying heavy stuff, man. I'll be watching you from the depths of the other side. Damn, he's dead. <laughs> he died like a Hitokiri, huh? You'll be watching him from, from the other side. He gave Kenshin something to think about, as you, as you guys can see. He literally gave him, gave him something to dwell on.
The, this is a badass episode, man. I'm not gonna lie, this is a badass episode. Now, as Kenshin believes that he will try to hold himself back, being the Hitokuri, as much as he can, is it possible? I'll say it's definitely possible, but he will probably will get into a crossroad where he might have to go back on his words because it was a close one had had Miss Carol had him broken free from that hypnosis he would have killed Kurogasa by himself right and it, it won't be every time he engages in a fight that Miss Caro will be there to save him or to because if the enemy has chose to attack it to, uh, to attack Miss Caro or put her in a coma he will have to do whatever he must to rescue her you know I'm not sure how long our boy will continue to hold back his true self but we'll see this 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 makes it so interesting beauty on the run like i said ladies and gentlemen this is a badass episode um kenshin has vowed that as much as he's still alive he will do the best he can okay the best he can to hold back him being a hitokuri but kurogasa as told him before he died, no matter how hard you try, you will always be a Hitokiri and you will die as one. And no matter how hard you try to fake it, it will only be a matter of time before you return to your normal self. That is something that a Hitokiri cannot shake off no matter how hard they try. But as we can see, he was able to hold himself back mm. thanks to Miss Carol. Had Miss Carol and had him broken free from that hypnosis. There's no other way Kenshin would have saved Miss Carol if it's not to defeat or murder or kill Kurogasa. And Kurogasa from the start has been wanting this, right? He's been wanting to get this outcome or similar outcome from the start. He didn't engage Kenshin to lose. He engaged him that even if he lose, he will never return from this encounter. He will no longer be the same. It will either cost him his life or he will, you know, he will rather defeat Kenshin or die in the process. And somehow, some way, deep down, he knows that Kenshin will beat him. As you can see, the reason why he's doing this, he knows that his life can no longer be the same because of the, uh, the uh, society members, you know, these high top-ranking members. And again, due to the fact that Kenshin broke his arm so bad that he can no longer use it to either be a mercenary, be an assassin and get paid, or even to work for him or to do no more job. He, can, he is now almost useless, right? Based on the type of damage Kenshin gave him. So due to that, he made it more clear, crystal clear, what he must do at this point, right? So... Uh, but then again, you know, he, he could have still be useful somehow, some way, because he still has another arm, right? But for him, he feels like this is over for me. You know, there's nothing better to do now than to just die, you know? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this reaction. Stay safe. Keep on keeping on and see you in the next video.